Welcome to the Marcia Miyake Show, where our mission is to share thought-provoking ideas, practical tools, and tangible strategies to up-level your life, business, and relationships. I'm your host, Marcia Miyake, leadership and emotional intelligence consultant, executive coach, and conscious mama of two. Through solo episodes and interviews with experts in the medical, research, business, and spiritual fields, this show helps you to shift from the illusion that success in one area of your life means failure in another, to the understanding that you truly get to have it all. Let's get started. Welcome back to another episode, my loves. I'm so excited to be here. I just got off a training that I do every single week with my business partner and friend, Lucia La Rosa. So every week we open up a training that's available to anyone. So this is for anybody that is an entrepreneur, an aspiring entrepreneur, or just wants to get a little bit extra motivation, inspiration, and some mindset support. So it all starts with the way that we think and we focus on strategies for mindset, but also focus on some key business skills to really help you succeed in business, whether it's network marketing, direct sales, whether you're a coach, a consultant, even if you have a brick or mortar, these skills are going to help you create the momentum that you want to have in your business and really just give you that energy that you need to have a positive mindset moving forward and to gain that positive momentum in your business. So I thought I would continue the conversation here because I think it's so important. I talked about one of the things I see online on a lot and It is along the lines of, if it's not a fuck yes, it's a fuck no. And I get the intention behind it. What the author and now the sharers of this content, it's about, it's about trusting yourself. It's about doing what feels in alignment for you. It's about following your bliss. All of that, I get it. I understand. However, it's also dangerous advice and I don't actually believe in it only because if you understand human behavior and human psychology, you'd understand that it's a lot more complicated than just following that initial gut instinct. That the first thing we need to understand is that who we are as people, we've been programmed to how we are by 30. Okay. We're pretty much who we are, who we're going to be. And so we need to actively now change and decide to think differently, to look at things differently. Um, if we want to create a radically different life, you know, like Einstein says, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting to have different results. Well, it's doing the same things, but it's also thinking the same things. You can't think the same way and expect to have a different outcome. So if you're not living the life of your dreams, well, then there's some work for us to do. I'm included in this cohort. I have to look at my limiting beliefs. I have to look at the way I think. I have to look at my biases to make sure that these things aren't in the way of me creating the life that I actually want. And so when we think about you know, a fuck yes. Okay. What does that feel like? That means no hesitation, right? Like think about in your mind what that means to you. What is a fuck yes for you? Like a fuck yes for me is, you know, like, I don't know how much I love my kids. You know, that's a fuck you. There's no, there's no resistance there. There's no hesitation. So it's like complete certainty. Um, and so the quote is kind of saying, if it's not that your complete certain certainty, like every ounce of you is in alignment with this, then it should be a fuck no. And I'm going to really argue against that right now, because if you are not living the life that you want to live right now, then you cannot trust your initial instinct. Also, this was really important. Research found that people who are anxious are are significantly um, unable to follow their intuition. So basically, it's the higher your anxiety, the lower your intuition. Okay, so when we are anxious, when we are in fear, this is when we should not be trusting our intuition. However, 
This is usually when we lean our intuition on our intuition. We don't look at the facts. We don't look at the data. We go to what feels, you know, like I go into my body and, and trust me, I totally understand the, the theoretical part of this in that, you know, getting into your body, trusting your instincts. I get that, but there is a time and place to trust your instincts. And there's a time and place to question that programmed response. So when you are in fear, when you are scared, your intuition is low and we just need to own that. So then let's look at when something is happening in our life and we need to make a decision on something. Usually it's around an opportunity. Opportunity. Maybe it's around hiring a coach to take your business to the next level. Maybe it's around hiring a coach to take your personal life, your relationship to the next level. Maybe it's to step into a, a new business opportunity. Maybe it's to invest in a particular subset of your uh, current business, whatever it is, is that we need to understand that it's not always going to be like full body resonance, like a full body yes. And that that doesn't mean that that path or that option isn't for you. Sometimes we need to lean into the fear. Sometimes we need into lean into the resistance. Now, I'm not advising that you become reckless and you just say yes to everything. What I'm asking you to do is to create a pause between your initial gut response and your actual decision. I want you to start questioning why your gut reaction is your gut reaction, right? Because if you have lived your life this way for so long and you're always, your gut reaction may be fear-based. Your gut reaction may be scarcity. Your gut reaction may be to keep you safe because that's literally the function of the brain. Your brain looks for patterns, it looks for problems, it looks for safety, it looks for certainty. But guess what? A lot of times, the things that are the most amazing things for you, there isn't certainty around it. You don't have a pattern about it yet. How can it if it's new? If it's new and it's a new possibility and it's a new opportunity, your brain doesn't have the data and the pattern. So instinctively, you're going to want to say, no, that's safe. That, that's unsafe. That's danger. So I'm always going to play the devil's advocate. Now, I'm not saying that this quote is bad and we should never use it. Oh, a hundred percent like for relationships, okay? If you're looking to marry someone, like with me and Dan, it is a full body fuck yes. There is zero hesitation, not one ounce, not one cell of my body is like, I don't know if he's for me. He is a thousand percent for me in this lifetime and every fucking lifetime. Zero question, zero, zero, zero question in my mind, right? So when it comes to something like a relationship, yeah, a hundred percent, you want to, you want to be like, it's a fuck yes or it's a fuck no. But when it comes to almost everything else in life, just understand where your fuck no and your fuck yes is coming from. Okay. There are times when it's been a fuck yes for you and that dude was not good for you, honey right? Why? Because you had been working off old data points. You've been working off an old pattern and your old way of thinking cannot create a new reality. You have to be willing to be uncomfortable. You have to be willing to sit with uncertainty. You have to be willing to lean into the resistance because in that resistance is your greatest life in that resistance, in that fear of judgment, in that fear of failure, in that fear of rejection is your greatest life. And you can only get there if you decide to question your gut instinct. So does your gut instinct sometimes have the right answer? A hundred percent. Yes. But you, if you are in fear and if you're anxiety, we know that the research says that your intuition is lowered. So this is not the time to lean on your intuition. It's time to create space. Okay. I always advise people to create space. Don't rush into your decisions, 
create space. And one way to tell your intuition is your intuition is often a quiet knowing, whereas your anxiety feels like a, it's, it's, a, it's an elevated energy and it's like, it's like an obsession you can't stop thinking about, whereas your intuition is very quiet, okay? I always say, one of my favorite things is, you know, it's in the silence that we hear God's voice. It's in the silence. God whispers, anxiety, ego screams. So create that space and decide you're going to question your your gut instinct and you're going to really question, you're going to talk to God or whatever feels right to you about, hey, should I do this? Should I lean into this even though it feels foreign, even though I have fear? And then wait in silence for that answer. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with me today. If you love this episode, please share it with someone. And if you're a longtime listener, it would mean the absolute world to me if you would rate and review this show on iTunes. I love you so much and I can't wait to connect with you on the next episode. And remember, it's not only possible to have it all, it is your birthright. <laughs>